Hi everyone, here's another example of Cypress recurse. Imagine I have this nice table and initially I'm on the first tab and I can click the next button until I get all the way to the last tab. And at that point that button becomes disabled. Let's inspect its markup. Okay, value next and look disabled. All right, and if I get one page before that, then it doesn't have an attribute. So how do we click the button until it becomes disabled? Let's write this. I'm going to use recurse and my first function is the one that gets me the button. So I'll say sci get and I'll select by value next. It has an attribute value and the next function is a predicate and it just gets a value returned by the first function which is a button and it's a jQuery element. How do I know when to stop? When the attribute disabled, which we can get using jQuery adder method, is equal to disabled. And the last thing we can do is, let's say, log false. So we don't want any default messages. Let's say limit how many times you want to click is 10. Timeout, let's say 20 seconds. And delay between the clicks say half a second and right now we're not doing anything right we just got the button and checked it we need to move to the next page right we have to click on it so the post callback that's where we'll get the button and click on it notice it's clicking all the way until it gets to the last page and then it stops